If you're taking Mobile CSP in the fall, this tutorial will show you how to take a pre-existing template that can be found in the Google Gallery and install it as your own personal website. We're also going to describe how to modify this template and customize it for your school or your needs. But before we get to that, let's first describe why we need a web portfolio in the first place. This is the online textbook for Mobile CSP and if we click on any unit and pick any project in that unit, here for example is the section on the paint pot tutorial. If we go to the bottom of the project, we see that there are reflection questions that need to be answered. The web-based portfolio not only provides the student with a place to answer such questions, but already has these questions preloaded so that they do not need to be copied again. Here, for example, is the section in the web-based portfolio on the paint pot tutorial questions that we just saw. In addition to preloading questions, the portfolio also provides a location where students can submit their projects. Templates are already provided. Here, for example, is the template for the paint pot project showing exactly what needs to be submitted. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to find this template on Google Sites and install it and customize it for our use. So we're going to go over to the Google Sites location, which is sites.google.com. And here are all the sites that are currently shared with me or that I've created. Most likely, if you're uh, new to Google in terms of uh, building sites, you may have a blank page here. That's okay. I'm going to hit the Create button. And I'm going to browse the gallery for more templates. I'm going to click on this Schools and Education section. I'm going to search for the template called Mobile. CSP 2016-2017 V2 and then I'm going to select that template right there and I'm going to press the select button down here and when I do so it's asking me to name my site now you want to check with your instructor to see if she has any particular naming conventions she wants to use I'm just going to call my site Mobile CSP. You know, this one looks good, Student Portfolio. And that should uh, be all that I need to do. And then I just hit this Create button. And when you see this page show up, that means you have successfully installed that template as your own private website. What we're going to do now is we're going to show you how to customize this template for your personal use. And we're going to start by replacing this Android logo with your picture, putting your name here, and deleting this line of text. To do anything with this sidebar, we're going to click on this wheel, and we're going to click on Edit Site Layout. And you see as soon as I do that, this area lights up now. So if I click on this spot, this box is going to show up with all the information that was in this uh, section. So I'm going to just click on this Android logo and remove it. And I'm going to replace this with my name. Let's say my name was uh, John Smith. And I'm going to put that there. I'm going to delete this line. And I'm going to go back here and insert my image. So I'm just going to say insert image. And if you like, you can upload an image from your computer. Here's my picture right here. I'm going to put that right in. and I'm going to select that picture and go with the small size and hit OK and you can see that my image has now been uploaded along with my name the next thing we're going to go over is how to add a page to the portfolio and also have it appear in this sidebar let's say that I wanted to add page 12 perhaps it's for extra credit or some other assignment that your teacher has given what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this page plus button and I'm going to start with the numbering of the page which is going to be 12 and I'm going to say extra credit and I'm going to click on here to say that it's going to be put under the home section and here you can see that the page has been created here it is in my sidebar 
and now I can type whatever I need to in here and hit the Save button and it will become part of the website. I can also move these pages from one section to another. Let's have a look at that. I just come back to the wheel and click on Manage Site and go to Pages. And here is the extra credit section that I just added. And if I wanted to move that from the home section to the performance task section, I can just grab it and just drag it over. And in a couple of seconds, it's going to show up in its new location right there. Now we're going to briefly discuss how to change the colors and themes and fonts. So starting at the website home page, I just click on the wheel once again and go over to manage site. And then click on this last section here and there's enough uh, buttons to play with here that will allow you to get a great degree of customization for this site. You can add images, uh, change the fonts, the color schemes, uh, everything you need to do for your school. The last thing we're going to discuss is if you're a teacher and you want to customize this template for use in your school, all you need to do is install a version of it as your own website, make the changes that you want, and then finally republish it as your own template. So to do that, you just go back to this Manage Site and go to the General section. And if you scroll down, you'll see there's a button here that will allow you to publish the current website as your own template. So you just give it a different name than the template name that was originally given, and then you tell your students to use that template for installation of their portfolios. Music